Beautiful morning, good people. Um, remember how I think two days ago I talked about that I want to build out a marketing strategy for one of my growth consulting clients. And so that's what I'm currently working on. And I gotta fucking say, I love working with the iPad because you can just draw something in here, put it into Keynote and then just, you know, have that there. And this thing, the Apple Pencil, it's just so good. It's just, oh my God, I'm actually considering to buy one because this is so productive. Um, but yeah, that's that. But also today we're gonna celebrate my little sister's birthday and we're gonna go to a jump house, you know, where there are like, like a lot of trampolines and stuff and you can jump in a house. Um, so we're gonna go there soon. And I'm, I'm really excited, you know, it's gonna be me and Jay between like a bunch of 13 year olds. Everyone follow me. Yes, yeah, uh, if anyone, so. <laughs> as if anyone would ever listen to me when I say that. So we made it to the jump house and I'm wondering right now why I, I never got this for my birthday. This is the greatest thing ever. It's crazy for me to realize how much the, the ability to stay humble determines how, determines your long-term success or rather determines like how sustainable your, your, your growth as a person will be. Because I don't think like, like we, and with we, I mean people my age, um, in their twenties or whatever, um, realize how long the game is like if you make a million in your 20s right you make your first million dollars while you're still in your 20s that's amazing and not a lot of people are able to do it but you're still in your 20s you know and you can easily get in the mindset of like now i made it you know now 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 I have this accomplishment and I'm sticking out from the crowd and, you know, get in the mindset of, you know, living the high life. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with it, right? Like if you make a million dollars, you can make with it whatever the, the fuck you want with it. Like if you want to buy a fucking Lambo, like go ahead and buy a fucking Lambo. But um, yeah, I feel like early success can actually be a bad thing for your long-term success because you will stop doing the things that got you the early success. It's the fucking grind work, you know? It's the hours and, and, and hours of, you know, not going out and not doing all these things that the other people are doing. <laughs> Maybe I do want the Lambo. Okay, today is Sunday and that means tomorrow starts a new week and so um, I thought I would try out a new approach for um, scheduling my week or getting more shit done or being more productive because I feel like that's been a theme you guys have been able to watch me do trying to figure out how I can get more shit done in the same time. Um, and so what I did, here's what I did. Number one. If you look at my calendar now, there is now a block every day from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. called deep work. And I'm gonna block off this this block every single day. Um, and a couple of things will happen during those four hours. Number one, my phone will not leave airplane mode unless something major happens. It's gonna stay there minimum until 1 p.m. That's only when I'm allowed to, for the first time, get out of airplane mode. Also, because it's blocked off, there will be no calls, no meetings, no whatsoever happening in those four hours. And the third thing is, each block, each block of four hours, is dedicated to one certain big task. Um, can be sometimes two. Best thing is they are related. Um, but it's, you know, it's the big chunk, it's the big work that needs to get done. Um, so I blocked off that. Then what I did is, um, 
As you guys know, I've been using this new tool, Todoist, um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I put all of my stuff in there. I still have some stuff I need to import into here, but most of the thing that I have on my mind and should get done are all in here. Um, and so what I did was go through it and see what are all the things that I need to get done. And then I wrote them down on a list of the things I wanna do, um, group them into things. And then I created this thing, which is just kind of like a weekly calendar. And as you can see here, this is 1, uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I wrote down for each day what the block is gonna be. Um, the reason why I wanna have it you know, already decided on Sunday is because number one, you have a better overview. I've never really done, so I've been doing this for a long while, right? Where I plan my day. Each, each evening so at the end of each day I sit down and I plan my next day these are some other notes duh, 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 duh. but this is what I've been doing and that already has helped me massively just you know writing down more specifically what are the things I'm gonna do the next day it also helps with decision-making because um, you know I already know tomorrow when I wake up exactly when and what I'm gonna do so I don't have to think, you know, oh, do I do this now, do I do this now? Um, but I do it on a day-to-day -day basis, which has one major problem. You only see things from day to day and you don't see the bigger picture. And so I think taking a step back, taking one step further, looking at the week and then seeing, okay, what are the big things that I need to get done this week? So it's a successful week and then making sure that all of these big things have like chunks of time already, you know, put in. Because if what could happen if you do only day to day, you have a big chunk of work. Um, and you know, you, you know, this one task is done is for today and then you don't get it done. And the reason why you don't get it done is because, well, tomorrow isn't yet planned. So you think, well, you know, if I don't get this done now, I can just later today when I plan tomorrow, I just, put in the time slot and you know I'll do it then but if you already plan it ahead you know like well you know tomorrow there's already something to get done so I better get this fucking done you know and so you it also helps with not dragging the same task throughout the week um, and yeah that's what I'm gonna try let's see it actually helps me keep productive I think I'm gonna I'm gonna still gonna add some stuff like some some smaller tasks that happen throughout the day um, and I think reading this because there are lots of like articles I need to read for educational purpose and then we try it out you know trying to be even more pro productive I don't know why I just touched my boob anyway I'm also gonna sign off now um, today was a good day um, I celebrated my sister's birthday um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. And then see you tomorrow, starting a new week with hopefully more productivity. Also, by the way, let me know what tools or you know tricks or habits you use to be more productive. Like, what do you do? Do you have to-do lists? Do you have calendars? Do you have apps? Like, what is it? Let me know. Because obviously you realize it's a fucking obsession I have. Yeah. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate to love But why not? Holy shit I just wanna make a trip to the China